All right, so this is my middle image that looks similar to yours, except by now you have the inside filled as well as the two other smaller, um, smaller shapes that go along next to your large one. The inside one, the large shape, the full shape, should have the shading go all the way around it. And then your other two shapes partial shapes, you're just going to shade the outside. It's not going to be shaded where it touches the big ones. So you're shading here and here along this side. So you're going to, these graphite pencils, it, you don't have to, I mean, you do have to press down fairly hard. It should be, it should look pretty solid. So you should have kind of a nice thick black line. Make sure that you had art, have already gone around everything with a thick black. Uh, Sharpie, if you just use thin, go over it with a thick one because then it's just going to be less shading. And if you even want to just use the marker to make it a little bit thicker anyway, um, so it's really dark, you can do that too. But this is how you're going to go around um, what, however many, at least one smaller image that you have that you want to be nice and you want to leave nice and bright. So you're going to do like a thick line like this all the way around. And then these, your other two partial images should kind of reflect that. If it needs to be smaller um, width of that dark shaded area because it's thinner than what I have here, then make it a little bit smaller. But so this is what that would look like all the way around, but not touching where it meets the bigger image or where it overlaps the other one. So um, I have these little tools here that you can use to blend uh, the graphite, but it works just like a paper or a tissue and you have a bigger area, you can just wrap it around your finger and then it, it basically does the same thing. But your goal here is not to see any of these hard edges, it's supposed, it should be blended. So you're actually going to kind of keep working that area. Um, you're not going to blend until everything is covered. So this dark outline should go around every part first. Then you're going to come back. And I would just kind of shade a light value in the middle. Kind of like that right here. Of course, covering the whole thing. I'm just trying to save some time here. Blend it. With the paper towel, be really careful. See, I already went into that cross a little bit. And I'm not sure how these work with an eraser. I haven't tried that yet, but you really want to keep that as bright white as you possibly can. So you can see there's definitely a hard edge here. You want it to be blended. So you're just gonna keep kind of going over that area so you don't see a stripe. The middle should be um, the lightest, but this is, you know, this is pretty blended. It's going to go all over everything that you've drawn on the inside, except what you want to leave white. Um, but yeah, same with this one, the small two as well. If you need to use this, it's probably best to go to use it around the smaller spaces. but otherwise you can use a tissue for most of it. So yeah, everything gets shaded. The outside, nice dark black color, and then gradually get lighter. The um, partial images too on the outside gradually get lighter, gradually gets lighter as it moves to the inside, darker, lighter.